I'm going to just read this to you guys here a little bit. During this extremely difficult and challenging time for our community, I would first like to express our deepest sympathies and my deepest sympathies to the courageous survivors of Larry, Larry Nassar's abuse. It was absolutely heartbreaking to hear their stories and the pain and suffering they went through. And we are only in the beginning of the stages of the healing process for the community and even more importantly for the survivors and their families. I have received many questions and inquiries about today's reports, their latest reports. I'm here to, tonight to say that any accusations of my handling of any complaints a sexual assault individually are completely false. Every incident reported in that article was documented by either police or the Michigan State Title IX office. I've always worked with the proper authorities when dealing with the cases of sexual assault. We have always had high standards in this program and that will never change. The values that we teach to everyone in this program will be enforced. We've also always tackled pro problems here head on and have dealt with issues. When we find out about the problems, it has come from the police or the university authorities. I can assure you, as in last year's incident, I also immediately reported them to the proper authorities. That's really all I have to say. I want to thank you for your time. You know, I'm advised against taking any questions, but I complete, feel completely uh, Steadfast in what I said today. I'll take two questions. Yes. That is absolutely false. I'm here for Spartan Nation. I'm here for our football program and for my family. And to look the people in the eye um, who, I guess, instigated those reports. No. Uh, one question. They came to me from the authorities. They came from the, from the authorities. So, in the from the authorities, you know, when I found out about a sexual assault, I reported them immediately. That was the, as of last year's. So, I don't want to walk out of here, not, but I can't answer 150 questions. I want to thank you for you guys for your time. I thought it was important to come and address this, and uh, and look people in the eye. Thank you for your time. We'll have